Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. After making a small fortune in FX trading and crypto, I married my middle school classmate, Fuka. Fuka's family owns a florist shop, which she's also passionate about. So we decided to settle down near her family home. Florist? Nice. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just that it really suits you. It's not what it looks like, though. Huh? Is it pretty hard? Yeah. <laughs> well, you had like three staff before, but they all quit. Really? I could help out if you're okay with it. Hmm. Can you talk to my parents about it? Sure. This is how everything started, with me just lightheartedly offering Fuka help. But contrary to the elegant image, the florist business is pretty tough, hard labor. Hiroshi! This is he. You need to drive me tomorrow. What? That's really last minute. Work schedules always change last minute. Your father-in-law can't make it, so you'll have to step up. Uh, sorry if I'm over the line here, but how about you drive yourself? I'm a bad driver. What a bad excuse. Anyway, when should I get up? The other place at 4 a.m. <laughs> Just thinking about the time is making me sick. If you're gonna call me your mother, you'll have to get used to this. Yes, mother. Don't call me that. What? Why? I don't trust you completely yet. You'll need to be retrained with us and become a real man first. Okay, thanks, I guess. Mom again? Whoa, are you telepathic? You always make that face when you're texting her. Oh, dear goodness. Was I making silly faces again? What the hell? Yeah, I'll stop. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing at all. Well, okay. I have purchasing to do in the morning, so I'll go to bed. Good night. I didn't think our marriage was in a bad place. But I was getting some bad vibes from her family. I wonder what I could have done wrong. Another day, while I was on delivery for the afternoon, Fuka and her mother went for a casual lunch. Apparently they had some nonchalant conversation as mother and daughter. Sweetie, are you happy? What do you mean? <laughs> You know, in general. Of course! I love work and everything. What about Hiroshi? I'm glad I married him. He's kind, funny, and he spoils me most of the time. You can't fool your own mother. Something's been off since you got married. Aww. Uh, but I don't have any complaints. I said from the start that I was against it. Crypto or whatever. But he made petty cash without getting a job, right? I wouldn't say petty, but look at him on the job. He can't do anything right. And he complains like he's earned the right. What do you think? Is he up for it? Well, he does seem stressed. He hasn't got the spirit. Think about the future with him. 10, 20 years from now, do you think he'll manage our shop properly? Well, maybe not. Things are not looking too well for me. You know your dad can't work forever. Of course I'll pull through to the end. But what's gonna happen when the shop is in your hands? Think about it. Oh, Harushi might want to retire early or something. See? He's like, don't treat me like a slave. But that's what it takes to be a real man. You know that, don't you? Yes. I guess our values about working hard and being rewarded might never align. There you go. Marriage is forever, so you need a long-term perspective. Okay. Apparently Fuka thought she handled the situation pretty well, but my mother-in-law took me aside as overtime after closing to tell me something astounding. Ugh, my vision is blurry. Wait, am I the only one here? If I'm gonna be late, I wish I could work with Fuka. I talked to Fuka one-on-one -on -one today. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll give it to you straight. You need to divorce Fuka. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. That girl has been helping this shop ever since she was little. She's a business-minded girl, through and through. I've been watching you for a while, and you're just not man enough to support her life. That's just your opinion. We discussed things like that before we got married. Besides, I have enough money for the rest of our lives, but whatever. Fuka said she was disappointed in you. What? No! But a divorce drained so much energy that she couldn't bring it up. 
Did you not notice these things? When was the last time you saw her real laugh? Well, when you put it like that... See? You're already not good enough for her. Making my daughter endure everything. Poor Fuka. No, I can't believe she wants to leave me. I'm not trying to bully you. No one's going to be happy if we keep going like this. If you're gonna get a divorce, you need to talk about it with her. I'll tell her dad about it, so that there's no tension. This sucks. Our whole marriage, was there any point? Fuka! Why are you yelling in the middle of the night? How dare you say I'm lazy! I'm not good enough! I have stinky feet! I didn't say any of that! Save it! I heard everything from your mom! Wait, what did you hear? So you do know what I'm talking about! I said I heard everything! <sighs> to think that my wife hated me! Why did you marry me then? It's just for my money, isn't it? What? Are you dumb? If that was true, I would have quit my job long ago! Oh yeah, that's right. Your job is so much more important than me! Stop being such a girl! Well, it's true, isn't it? We were both too tired, and we let it escalate to a huge fight. We couldn't make up that day, so I had to force myself to accept that we were getting divorced. After that, we decided to get Fuka's parents involved in a heart-to-heart -heart talk, but... Let me tell you one thing. When you do your job looking as bored as you do, it makes the rest of us feel bad, too. You guys said to hustle while I was young. That's not what I mean. Ugh! He's hopeless. Maybe I really should get a divorce. Fine, but I've got plans of my own. Now, calm down, you two. What a lazy mess of a man. I knew we couldn't trust him. Can you not insult me from the sidelines? Oh, don't mind her. She's just menopausal. Ugh. You peaked in school. Back then, I thought you would be someone great. I guess love is blind. What? I didn't want to be anyone great. I was just working hard to be happy with you. Listen to him talk. We can't have you messing us up because you can't grow up. Ugh, this isn't what I thought would happen when I saw you off that day. I'm the sad one here. <laughs> I can't believe this is the treatment I get after I finally come back to Japan. You studied abroad? Yes, in the US. Well, I bet you went to a dingy school, didn't you? Don't insult my alma mater. I'm an econ graduate of Chicago University, thank you very much. What? Don't kid around. We're serious. Oh, did that sound like a joke? Sorry about that. The only joke around here is my dumb old face. Sorry that I don't deserve Fuka, apparently. Wait, uh, hold on. Not to be crass, but how much did you earn in investments? That's definitely crass. 200k in a year, but so what? What? What a reaction. There's more if I count the stocks. I loved you, because you didn't brag. Look at you now. I mean, I'm not bragging now either. Huh? You're right. Wait, why did you stop loving me then? What? Um, I don't know. What about Hiroshi so bad? You know, Mr. Hiroshi. Mister? You'll hang around even after we're tired, won't you? You just did a whole 180 there. <laughs> Why? You're the one who said I should divorce Fuka. I didn't say that. Did I? Are you menopausal? Or is your brain itself on pause? Fuka, sweetie. A man with such good credentials is hard to come by. The economics program at Chicago University. How wonderful. Chill out! This is getting too complicated. Fuka and I will discuss ourselves. Later... Mom, I'm gonna quit the shop. What? Why? I guess I always thought this place was my destiny. Because I grew up around this shop. But I realize I don't actually like the florist business. Now on, I'd rather take care of kids than of plants. What? What are we gonna do after I retire? Well, I always meant to close down someday. But the both of you were working so hard, I couldn't bring it up. What about our retirement savings? Fuka, I'm going to make you happy for the rest of your life. And my father-in-law, who's always had my back. But you, mother-in-law, who treated me like a slave and told me to get a divorce. 
<laughs> what should I do with you? You won't leave me out, will you? We're family, aren't we? Are we? And I'll be your slave, and you'll forgive me, right? Wow, are you stupid. What kind of drama is this? <laughs> I just wanted you to respect me for my life experience. I was a fool. I guess people who look down on those inferior to them are the ones who suck up to those superior. I can see why the shop staff all quit so fast. By the way, apparently Fuka liked the way I was working hard to achieve a goal. She was cold because I didn't have any drive. Well, maybe I should study for some kind of license? Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then. See you next time. Bye.